this is Kevin and I'd like to thank you for watching my tutorial here. Today we're working with Celtics script writing software and this video is going to be a more in-depth look at the sketchpad portion that Celtics offers. Now the sketchpad is a wonderful tool that can really help you out when you're trying to visualize what your words are going to look like on camera before you even get in the field. Now as you can see here what I have up is a script of one of my favorite movies, The Shawshank Redemption. Uh, this is one of the most prolific scenes in the movie in which they're talking about Brooks becoming institutionalized and what institutionalized really is. Uh, this is the scene where all of our actors are sitting in the yard on the set of bleachers and what we're going to do is we're going to change all these words into a sketch of what it actually looks like on screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to move up here to the sketch portion and we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now you can see what it's done here is it gave me this large blank canvas here in which we can pretty much do whatever we want and draw whatever we want. So you have your canvas here, you have a whole line of tools right up here in your toolbar. Along with that you can also go over here to your palette in which you can actually pull up different things. You've got cameras, you've got different kind of lights your spot, your flood, and you've got an art pack. You've got just a man and a woman just to get you started with a couple of the, the other things. Now if you actually want to expand on that you can actually get more things within Celtics whether it be chairs, tables, bushes, what have you. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all my basic stuff and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on this square tool up here and what this is gonna allow me to do is gonna allow me to draw anything I want. So right now I'm just going to draw out five long rectangles right here. Okay, now we have our five long rectangles here and what these are going to signify is this is going to be our bleacher set. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here and we're going to click on the arrow key and we're going to go over to our art pack and we'll click on the man. You can see it comes up with drag and drop object on the sketch. So what we're going to do is we need eight of these. Okay, as you can see it drops a man here. And what you can do is you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you need to do. And if you grab this little purple point, you can turn the man whichever way you want him to go. So we're going to put him right here on that set. Throw up another guy here. Alright, now to save a little bit of time, I created this beforehand so that you didn't have to sit here and watch me put down all eight characters. Now, as I said before, I was going to put down eight people, but actually I was going to need nine. The ninth man is going to be right here, and this is actually Haywood. But this is also Haywood. Uh, there's a scene in which Haywood actually spins around. He starts off facing the camera away from all the rest of the convex and then he turns and faces the convex. So what I'm going to do to signify that is we're going to go up and we're going to click on the camera and we're going to drop the camera down. We'll turn it around so it's facing Haywood straight on. And now we have a camera facing on Haywood. Now to show the motion of Haywood turning around we're going to go up to the arrow icon in the toolbox bring it back down to Haywood and just draw little arrows that's kind of bringing around and that's going to show that Haywood turns here. Now to show you where the camera is actually pointing and who is actually going to be in the shot we're going to go back up here to our line tool we'll go to the lens of the camera we'll click and drag and release click, drag, release. And that's going to be your shot for Haywood. Now as you can see here this is going to be our final version after we add in all the cameras with the angles and so forth. Uh, as you can see we have the camera down here getting Haywood straight on and from the back. Well at the same time we're also going to get everyone in the scene in this shot. We also have the shot of Ernie with Jigger in the background. We have the shot of Haywood from the front facing out. We have another shot of Red 
in the foreground with Floyd behind him. And we also have the shot with Red in the foreground with Andy and Skeet in the background. And this is your institutionalized scene for the Shawshank Redemption. Well, that's it for this tutorial, and I'd like to thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more from me, just start following me on YouTube and leave me a comment.